<laughs> Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Lisa. I'm Crystal. And we are stitching the dream. <laughs> We're attempting to stitch the dream. Lisa had an L. Why would Lisa have an L? For LaRoe, right? I mean, that was with. Well, the other. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. She stays inside <laughs> because it's just too people y out yeah, there. Yeah, I, I think they got that. <laughs> too people -y. Mark got me that for Christmas. He knows you. He does. He does. <laughs> so today is Sunday, May 30th. We don't normally yes. do Sundays, but nope. we're kind of in a crunch. We needed to get this video done because both of us are going on vacation Out. this week. Separate, separate vacations. <laughs> I'm going out to Portland on Friday. I'm going to spend a week out there with Mark's family. And I'm going to Dallas to spend a week with my daughter, her husband, and their little sweet girl. Yay! So yes. it should be should be a good time. I'm I'm super looking forward to it. Now you're oh. gonna be you're gonna try to hit up what's the stitching shop you go to? Stitch Niche. Stitch Niche. And mm -hmm. I am gonna take my first venture to Acorns and Threads. So yes. I'm I'm really excited about that. <sighs> we'll see. Take some pictures. I will. You too. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. So my, I can't my wait goal to see my yours. goal is to find to buy something there to commemorate the, my trip to Portland, Oregon. Yes. I've I've not been there before, so this will be really exciting for me. That is exciting. Yeah. What day will you be? Just in case if somebody's living oh, close I don't by. Know. We get there super late Friday night, like after midnight. Um and then we'll be with family Saturday, Sunday, and then we'll be there the whole week. So I don't right. know, I don't know, whatever day, whatever day is free, I'm just going to grab the car and go. Hey, if you want to comment on which day you guys yeah, are going to yeah, be yeah. there, maybe that might right. be a day that she do, might be do able they, to go. Does, does Acorns and Thread do a, a stitching, the stitch in type of thing, or, or one day a week where people come stitch? I don't know. So it's That hard. would be awesome that for you guys to cool. let us know. Yeah, because I'll, I'll take my stitching and go sit with you guys if, if y'all are stitching in. I don't know if, if that's opened up yet, because some places aren't doing right. that yet, but some are. That is true. So let me know, because I will be there. That'll I'm really be so excited. much fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long are you staying? You're going to be <laughs> you'll be a week? <laughs> We're going to be a Tuesday to Tuesday. And um, I'm, I'm uber excited, because obviously get to visit with family but also you get to visit with family in sunshine oh, that's and they've nice. got this gorgeous pool and hot tub and then the fun boat on the lake and that will be fun and they are just the most gracious hosts nice i mean it is it's so easy and um it, it's it's just so much fun i cannot wait yay i know Yep, we're going to be there a whole week. So, Did you do anything fun this past week? Past couple of weeks? Because <laughs> I know you work a lot, but... Well, actually, um, I only worked two days, but... In the I whole have... three weeks? In three weeks? No, I worked a lot <laughs> in three weeks. But um, this last week, I have this thing that when I go out of town, I clean the house from top to bottom. Because when I come home and I open the door, mm -hmm. I want it to be, you know, very clean. Well, I just noticed how much I haven't cleaned lately. <laughs> it's never I a mean, good thing to notice. Oh my gosh. And then just how many times, you know, where you, you walk in and you just put something down in the corner. And then you put something else on top of it. Should I turn the camera on and let people... No. <laughs> I'm a little upside down right now because I'm home alone. Mark's out of town, yeah. so things tend to... Yep. And I, then... I tend to get very lax, especially when I'm home alone. <laughs> when, but... Well, and you should. You know, that's your time away, too. Because Marky is uh, on a... Motorcycle trip. Yeah. He's, he's down in Tennessee with the fellas. Yeah, at Sweetwater. Yep, right near Sweetwater, yeah. Yes. In fact, I gave him the address to the Whistle Stop, which is now for sale. So if anybody wants to buy a quilt retreat, the Whistle Stop is for sale. Or, and you can use it for a cross-stitch retreat, too. So I, I sent him the address. I said, go look at the house. Let me know what you think of it. This is where you know mm -hmm. we, used to, we used to go spend all of our Octobers. But... Yeah, and now we're going to try something different yeah. this year. Going to Michigan this going year. Going to Michigan. So we'll keep you all posted on how that goes. Yeah. 
Then I'm really excited so about that. Really are. excited about that. I am too, because um, Katie, uh, she's looked at some shops around and stuff like that, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So, and it's an actual place for retreats. Yeah, so do we So need? there has a big craft room there ready for us. So we're, always, we're very exciting. Yep. We're very exciting. We are very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> and excited. <laughs> also, um, obviously we have StitchCon coming Stitch up. StitchCon coming up. That is super exciting. <gasps> I know. I so finished exciting. my small. I have it. <laughs> I did start it. I did start it, which, if we want to move right into whips, I can show you. Sure, let's do whips. Okay, so I saw this and um, I just fell in love. Teresa Kogut's, um, it's called the uh, Bunny and Bee. And so this is it. That's cute. That is adorable. Super cute. And it's going really fast. I worked on this basically one night. And look at this. Is this not the cutest? It is. The so cutest. this is going to be my uh, Stitch Con Smalls. I love it. It is so cute. And yes. Oh, if I win it, I can put it with my bunnies in the foyer. I hope I win. <laughs> it's not a win. It's a win. <laughs> Surprise. So, um, <laughs> but you guys... Because it's going so fast to stitch, I am going to give it as a small because I've fallen in love with it. And I told, I told Lisa. She walked in my house today. She's like, you're not going to believe what I just did. I started my small, but guess what? And I went, you're keeping it, aren't you? <laughs> the only reason I'm going to share it and give it away is because it's so fast that I can stitch it again. <laughs> Hi. But anyway, it's so adorable. It Look really at cute. that. I love the it. flowers. Love the oh, oh, yeah. And it's really cute. And uh, the bee. Look at that little bee up there in the corner. Well, and this must Teresa, be. Teresa, you are truly an artist. Truly. Yes. We I mean, I know you're an love artist. you. I know you're an artist, but you are an artist. Yes. Just saying. And you're just going to see how much we love you. Oh, I know. Because, you know what? Let me let me jump in here. Because, because Teresa Koga, you, you're awesome. And <laughs> Wilbur. I love Wilbur. It's, mm -hmm. it's, when I first saw Wilbur as a punch needle, I was like, oh, man, if she ever converts that to a cross stitch, I am totally doing it. So, you know what? <laughs> Doing it because you have the the lamb that peeks around. Yeah, the four and you, he's gonna go you. so cute. So I'll do this, and then on the other on the other side of the the other piece, so there's enough here to do two. I'm gonna do um, Tilly Goat because she's so cute too. I I I tell so, you, I love her. So her these work. these guys will go on my foyer table after the bunnies come down. <laughs> They're kind of summer. I know, Our they are. Of summer. I mean, they look great. <laughs> They're so cute. Do you have more whips or was that your... That's my only whip gotcha. that I have because... I have a couple. My other whip, I'm going to show you because it's not a whip anymore. The former, formerly known as whip? Formerly known. So, I have a couple because I can never just concentrate on one thing because y'all know, <laughs> issues. So it's funny. We actually watch on Floss Tube the serial starters. And then the serial, yeah. And I think she is a sister from another Mr. Serial Starter Stitcher. I think, Laura, I think she's related. I think, I think I think Laura and I would get along quite nicely. Laura, if you're ever in Cincinnati, call me. That's right. So my next my next whip is the, the the round robin that we're doing with our crock pot crew from Blackbird Designs, our lasting friendship. So that's the sampler that we're all doing as a round robin. I had, who did I have? Stephanie, I had Stephanie's this week. Stephanie's? Yes, yes. yes. because you handed Pam's to mine. That's right. I'm taking Pam to Dallas with me. So this is what, this is the part I did here. So I think it started with this guy. Yes. And it's all down this side and then there's my L. And then I did the little tree in the side because it's there. So, <laughs> so there's Stephanie's. Isn't it beautiful? Yay. 
Yay! So it's it's really coming coming nicely. This is her whole one. Sorry, Isn't that nice? Sorry, Steph. I'm showing your stuff. <laughs> but it really looks great. You're gonna love it, Steph. When you it get really it does. Yeah. So that was another whip. And then. And we're supposed to bring those to StitchCon so yep. we can so trade them. So we're gonna them. do our next our next swap. We'll swap. Be at StitchCon. So I'm excited about that. I haven't seen, well, none of us have seen ours since we passed it off to the I first person. I know. And I think we're, that was the fifth, I think the fifth one that I stitched on. So we're getting there. Yeah. We're and almost there's, there's done. Nine, there's nine in our crew, so. Yeah, we're almost yeah, done. Yeah, we're almost done. Just a, anyway. So my next, my next whip, um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to work on this. I was going, going to take this one on the plane to Portland. Because I think it'll be um, super simple to do, just to kind of fill in. But I wanted to get the mortar done. I wanted to get a lot more mortar done so I could just concentrate on the bricks when I'm in the plane. And I did that. So I have two stories. Oh. Two stories done on the house. I love the greens in the brick. Oh my gosh, isn't it beautiful? And, and it didn't look green in the mm -hmm, picture. Not at all. So somebody commented on our the, the last video that we showed this a few videos back. Um, thanking me for enabling them. So <laughs> I've did. never been an enabler before. It was it was quite liberating. Thank you. I I, I I'm honored. So I, anyway, here's two stories of a Quaker dwelling, and I thought, well, let me see what that ha that door is going to look like, and it's really great. I love it. it. Is. So I'm doing this on I think 40 count fog. I think mm -hmm. it might not be, but it's 40 count something, and I'm using the MPI silk. Mm -hmm. um, just exactly as it's called for. So I think it's I think it's turning out really pretty. Mm -hmm. And one more whip that I have, I I pulled out um, my Ann Hall sampler. You are doing so many samplers. I know, right? And you're that's... gonna have enough. Like uh, with thy needle and thread, Ellen. She ha she showed a picture of her. Her home. I have one and, of hers that I'm working on too. But. Yeah, and <laughs> she showed one wall that are all samplers, and she's talking about, oh man, wouldn't it be so nice to have a wall of samplers? I think you're gonna be. I think I'm gonna be doing we'll it. So this this was a expo rele release this year, and I I think the reason I was drawn to it because there's and I love red. Don't get me wrong, but there's no red in this. Uh, and for whatever reason, that drew me to it. I don't know why. Anyway. And this, it's even prettier stitch. Yeah, so this is this is where I'm at with it. So I'm, I'm making a little progress. I'm about a third of the way done. So the, these are the bottom three pages, and there's nine total. So I think that's so the, pretty. But look at the, those wonky deer. <laughs> they tickle me. This sampler makes me smile. I, I like it. Just because it's so kooky. Like, what the heck? What's up with those? What's up with those deer? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like alpaca with horns. I don't know. They were cracking me up though, and and I just because they're I just are smile. So they're well, and they're so. Uh, and their heads are these little pinheads, and <laughs> anyway, it just. But that that's fun. I worked on that for about gosh, maybe a week. Mm -hmm. One one full week. So I love it. I think it's so pretty. It, it's very different. It's very different from anything I've stitched. Yes, it is. I yeah yeah. Anyway, I know. I seriously, that is just so pretty. So that's all the whips I'm going to show you. <laughs> yes, there are more, but that's all. That's all I'm going to show you. I told you <laughs> issues, issues. So we're gonna go to Epho. You gotta finish. Yes. Alrighty. Finds it. And here we go. I am so excited. Look at this, Aww. ladies. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I love I it. I like how you did because you did take that down. I did. Because you were I... talking about running that all the mm -hmm. way across the bottom. Yes. I love it. I do because it only it it only went where the birds and the leaf was. Look at these cute little ladybugs! Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! I thought you weren't gonna put the pin the button on. I decided to put it just looks, the one. It looks great. I, I love the little ladybug button. Yes, I just decided to do the one because and if you guys notice too, I didn't do the flowers through the birds. 
because look, it has the sunflowers through the birds. Oh, and I see, through the body. Through the body. The and I just thought, you know what? I think that just kind of adds a little more busy. Just my opinion. I'm sure somebody else has done it in their perfect. But I flipping love this. It's really pretty. I do. I mean, really, I love really it. Really, really pretty. So. You should that. take that to Stitch Con to brag. They have the brag table. That's true. Just they thought. do. Just a thought. We'll see how my framer, if she's able to get it done in time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying. <laughs> so I have a finish. Let me let me move on to my finish. <laughs> well, it's so funny because my my smalls. I said to her, she was just we were just talking, and she gets back two days before StitchCon, and I said, <clears throat> Are you gonna have time? <laughs> to finish my smalls. There'll be time. <laughs> well, that stitch is fast. You might have that done before you leave. I, I might actually. I mean, because I will, I actually, I will try. We'll see. So I have a finish. This is drop dead I'm, gorgeous. I am, I am so excited about this one. Um, this is Jeanette Douglas. It was last, last year. I kept saying expo release last year, but it was a market release mm -hmm. last year. So this is Jeanette Douglas um, blooming bouquet. Beautiful, number four. So it's Jeanette Douglas Designs. But it's just so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. It is. It's so And look at how pretty it is, real. Oh, my gosh. That's oh gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I am I am super excited about this. I'm going to so I'm going to frame pretty. this up and um, give it to my mom because I think she would, I think Aww. she'll like this. Now, what did you do this count on and how did you stitch it? Is this? Um, it, it's a 40 count... It's in my notes, which are on the other side of the table that I can't reach. But it is 40 count, and I stitched it with um, all the called for silk. I bought the thread pack last Did year. Did you do a one over two? Oh, or yeah. Yeah, yeah. One over two? Yeah. And I put the, the year I finished. I was debating on putting my L, and normally I put an L, but I don't know. I may go back and add the L. But... Let me see how you did your two. Hmm. I was, I, I'm going to uh, do mine, my uh, initials, and then, um, that's pretty. I like that. I'm trying to find my... Oh, these are... Satin stitches. Satin yeah. stitches on cool? there. Wow, I, can't find I did not know that was a satin stitch. I just didn't even pay any attention, but that is so pretty. I love it. Thank you. This is just I gorgeous. I think it's lovely. I love it. I'm really excited about that. Your mother no. is just going... Oh, it's just going to be so pretty. She's going to love I it. I think she'll like it. I think mm -hmm. she'll like it. And it's funny because I haven't made anything for my mother probably since I was in high school. Wow. You know, and she sees me stitching all the time, and I'm sure she's like, well, are you going to ever make me something? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, Mom. Now. Right now. Yeah. And I know she doesn't watch my videos because she was, do you remember? She's like, well, I don't want to watch the... So I know she doesn't know it's coming. <laughs> One of the several trips. Oh my back. gosh! I'm like, here's here, mom. I'll set you up your tablet. I'll have you a direct link to our YouTube channel. You can watch watch Crystal and I. And she's like, why would I want to watch that? Mom. <laughs> she's like, I don't mom. cross stitch. <laughs> You'll she, know what's going on she in her mind. Mind. She cracked me up. But yeah, right. Oh well. Anyway, um. Okay, so I have two. I have two FFOs. One of them is my StitchCon small that Crystal said I have to show. I wasn't going to, but I well, but she showed you guys. I showed you the the, the finish, just not the yeah. Okay, anyway, it's so, so this is cute. spring rabbit and spring carrot. So here I made it into a little pin pillow. There's Isn't a little bunny, adorable. and what did I put down there? Oh, I put my initials down here, LMM. And then on the other side is the carrots, and I put StitchCon 2021. So this is so cute. This is some lucky winner. We'll get this. <laughs> and a I did, winner. And I did um, hand hand stitching, and I tell you, that was a kind of a pain in the butt because this is a 46 count. Those stitches were tiny. Yeah. Tiny. But you did such a good job. Thank I you. I mean, wow. And I, I love ended, it. And I ended up stitching, uh, filling it with, because um, I asked opinions if you guys wanted like the walnut or the fiber fill. I did neither. 
I, I filled it with um, cotton batting, which I think gives it a nice firm mm -hmm. kind of feel without the squishiness. Anyway, it's gonna be. Adorable. I like it. I think it turned so. out really neat. So I can't wait to see who wins. <laughs> My second finish, fully finish, is. Yes. Um, I think last week I showed the Somebody Loves You right. finish. Right, the F-O. So here, here it is in Look all its that. splendor. Isn't that just, the frame is perfect. Thank you. I love so it. So I've been, I've been dabbling in doing custom framing. So this, this was my third, my third custom size frame. The first one I did was my, see where I'm pointing? Was my... <laughs> Heck. The back of the <laughs> iPad shows way, way over there. My foyer, my my spring fling bunny. That one I, I custom framed myself, and yes. then I did my grandson. Um, it's a Lottie Da pattern, a bushel in a peck. Yeah, I you know custom size and framed that one and gave mm -hmm. it to him for his birthday on last Wednesday. So I I should have kept it. So I, I know. Sorry, like, kid. You don't get it till next week. But <laughs> anyway, so that's or that's take it back. So anyway, so now this this is going to be my first not me custom frame job right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do her sunflowers for her and her little um but the, mm -hmm. the stitch con bunny and bee. So fingers crossed, people, that it goes well. And if it goes well, <laughs> I'll let you know. And if anybody's interested in framing, you know, give me shoot me an, um, an email and we'll, uh, yep. we'll we'll talk. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we got whips, we got finishes, we got FFOs. I have my haul, A little bit of haul. but basically I wanted to share with you okay, guys sure. what I'm going to do. Because anytime we go to a retreat or anything, we always do a, a new start. So Stitch Con, I am doing... Rose, uh, Rosewood Manors That's Summer. Super cool. And I think this is going to go so fast. No. But yeah. It's really I think pretty. That pot's going to take me a little while. But yes, this is just gorgeous. So, and it came with is the threads. Kit? Oh, wow. With the, the threads. Um, Did you see fabric for it? Yeah, I just, and I have, since I've been in two fabric, F, uh, fabric of the month, I've got I've uh, got into the color and cotton fabric mm -hmm. of the month, and then I'm also in the uh, Crazy Annie's uh, fabric of the month, and I believe that is Seraphin, is which is that one. So yeah, I These am really, super. There's only five colors in that. I know. Is You're that right. Crazy? That is gonna go fast. I thought it was I all. I know. I didn't realize it was all that variegation. I thought it was, nope. oh my gosh, you're going to be switching colors all over. I know, but it's all. But it's it's not. This is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And I am not going to steal this from her like I did Somebody Loves You. I will allow her to do her own. I hope so. <laughs> this is, I mean, this reminds me of what you did to, with your mother's, but not nearly as complicated. It's really pretty. <laughs> And it's then the other thing I just got, and it came with its own floss too. I got this um, on um, Christine Stoley's uh, Kiwi Shop on Wait. Facebook, and it is just the cutest oh, little country. Oh, can you? Yep. There, there you go. But yes, aren't these guys adorable? And um, I'm just really excited to stitch this. This is gonna go by so fast because basically it's stitching the outline and just a few things on the inside. That's fun. But and you have chickens. I have chickens. Who knows what I'm going to have someday. And you love por pork bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a friend of mine, she was talking about my chickens. And she's like, I've got two chickens here too. One's called appetizer and the other's called entree. And I'm like, you are messed up in the head. I like it. <laughs> I said, we don't eat my chickens. We only eat their eggs. <laughs> They're my babies. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> um, I have a little bit of haul that I forgot to show last time when I insisted I had no haul last time. And I had a lot of haul last time. <laughs> anyway, so I have a couple of, a couple of samplers. Told you. <laughs> because... I think I'm hooked. She is into samplers right now. So the first one I have is the Middle Miss Red, <laughs> Middle Miss Red Sampler. It's a PDF, so I just printed it off the page. 
This is from Sassy Jack, Sassafras Samplers. Um, so I bought this off of the Sassy Jack site. But look how sweet that looks. Sassy Jack, um, didn't the um, the country, uh, did they, they do Sassy Jacks? The ones with the log home? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. No? I don't think so, because Sassy Jacks is um, like North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, ah. somewhere in that area. <gasps> Maybe we can go there sometime. It's on the list. Ooh. Well, there, there. I think what I heard. I don't know if this is accurate, but the the store itself, the brick and mortar, is not open. They're closed. In the process of moving to a new location and hmm. opening. I, I I could be wrong, so don't quote me. But that's maybe um, anybody there could let us know. Yeah, because when we were talking about where to go visiting, right. somebody had, had made that comment. In our comments so right that's true so I, I don't that. I don't know exactly where they're located anyway I bought this from their <laughs> website which I know where that is located so this is the little miss red oh, um, and I've picked it up a few times to start and I was like no finish something first but this I think this one will go pretty quickly because it's for you I think that would go fast and it's not extremely busy but it's just really dainty look at how dainty and pretty the flowers are anyway so we're gonna that's have that. to pick a wall I already picked my wall up <laughs> I did so the next sampler that I bought is from Jan Hicks creates um, it's flora graphica I love and I just I really like it on that dark fabric Wow um so she I don't she had a color conversion into silks dyed by Vicki Clayton who has recently restarted dyeing silk so I bought I bought the thread pack of all the Vicki Clayton silk so I'm I'm really excited about doing that wow um, nice yeah so I'm floor graphica with Vicki Clayton silk so that's exciting mm, nice have I started no have I attempted it yeah but then I said no <laughs> finish something Oh my gosh. Um, the last bit of haul I'm going to share is why I didn't show this last I don't know. I, I got into the Fabric of the Month Club for X-Jude Designs, which is a, a, I dot, love this a, dyer, color. a dyer out of Hungary, I think Hungary. So Very nice. So, hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. This is called... Biscuit. <laughs> so this is 46 count um, fabric of the month. I got in. They have prims or colors, so I got the prim. 46. And this was the April color. That is such Isn't a pretty it, color. Look how soft that is. Oh, oh wow! Right? And I like the little bit of marbling in it. It's it's just beautiful fabric. I don't know if, <clears> the, I don't know if the color will. I am so glad you didn't do the, colors, the friendship thing. I thought about six. it, but I thought between between Pam and Tony, I thought, no, don't do 46. So anyway, this is Biscuit. This was the April color That's of the month. That's very pretty. That one I should have shared last time, but... I'm so glad I you forgot. shared it this time. But this time, I also have May. So let me show you the May. <laughs> May is April called May. Ghostly Shadows. So this might be a fun one to do that Jan Hicks one on. Ghostly Shadows, that looks like a beautiful green. Mm, it is a little greenish, greenish grayish. Oh, it kind I of like reminds it. me of a, a lighter Confederate gray, sort of. It reminds me of a meadow. Like a ghostly meadow. Like a ghostly meadow. <laughs> <laughs> With shadows in it. <laughs> While I eat my biscuits. <laughs> anyway. Whatever. <laughs> so the fun thing about the Xtrude designs, um, she sends you these cool little things with it. So there's a, a Biscorn U pattern with floss. Cute. All the floss you need to do. Is Looks like Christmas. Right? So get your biscuits get in, your the biscuits in the shadowy meadow. of the meadow. Well, at Christmas. At Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what came in April. So April was. Aw, this cute little flower. So the, there's a chart. And then this one came with, came with the bees. Oh, that's nice. So that's kind of cool. That is nice. So I think I will do maybe for StitchCon prizes. Something. Something or 
That's right. I'll do it for something. You know we have, uh, well, it's not Whistle Stop anymore. We can't call it Whistle Stop. We still have we'll our come up, we'll come white up elephant. Oh, I have, I have that one planned. I can't show that one. Although that's the one that I make. <laughs> I'm rubbing off on it. You are, you are. <laughs> no. You are. <laughs> I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It it's, is absolutely and gorgeous. And it's taken a long time. So, I, And we can't share those because we do know some of our friends some, some that of the girls, go. Some of the girls watch us. Watch so, us. Yeah. So we can't share. Um, Are we ready for the, the big, giveaway? The big, the big, Woo! big For 2,000 subscribers. Yay. Um, oh, before we do that. Phone too. Before we do that, my phone. It's on your phone. Oh shoot, did you write the names down? Ha! Huh. Um, Hold on. <laughs> okay, so here is our 2,000 subscriber giveaway drawings. We've got our video link here. We're going to filter on giveaway number one, which the word was... Fabric. Okay, fabric. <laughs> As I'm typing in swan. <laughs> Okay, let's see how many do we have that use the word. We have 66 comments. All right, let's see. 66 on fabric and the winner is dun, 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 dun. It's so exciting. Sandy Sandy Bodza. Yay, Sandy. Love you guys. Always make me laugh. My stash is lacking, so the Mardi Gras fabric would be a bonus to me. Congratulations on the 2,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you, Sandy. Sandy. We will get that in the mail to you, ASAP, and you can enjoy stitching on all those fun, fun, fun colors. The second one, second giveaway was the keyword swan. That is the uh, swans and shears yes. chart and floss. floss. So 46 of you want that one. Not as not as popular, but that's okay. It's still very pretty. Who's the winner? Who's the, the winner? winner? Becky, Becky G. G. Congratulations on 2K. Love the swan pattern and the beautiful fabrics. All right. Thank you, Becky. We will awesome. get this. Yeah, actually, we won't get this in the mail. First, I need you guys to send us an email to our email address listed in the comment box, nope, the description box below. Send us your address and then we will get this out in the mail to you. So thank you very much, Becky and Sandra. Sandy. Sandy, we will get these to you soon. Yay! Okay, so our winners of the Mardi Gras fabric all these that lovely 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 such colors. beautiful the winner is sandy bodza b-o-d-z-a so sandy with two e's congratulations sandy, shoot us an email our email is listed in the description box below and um just send us your address and we will get this in the mail to you asap asap prefer so disclaimer <laughs> i got a hair in my anyway Whenever you put lip gloss on and you have long hair, hair gets stuck in your lips. <sighs> Horrible. She's leaving town this week. I'm leaving Friday. So if mm -hmm. you send us before Wednesday, if you get it, if you can send us your address before Wednesday, I'll get this in the mail before I leave town. If not, it'll it'll be after. Left. The next giveaway is dun, dun, dun. swans, swan, swan, wait, scissors and swans and shears Quaker with the DMC thread sh thread pack. Right. So this will go to Becky G. Becky G. Becky G. So Becky G, you are the hopefully happy winner of <laughs> the Swan and Shears chart and floss. and floss. So again, by Wednesday, let us know your address. Yes. If if you let us know after Wednesday, it'll be after we get back from vacation. Yes. So We'll get these to you as soon as we can. We are so excited, and thank you everybody for making. Oh my gosh! Us, it was it was oh, it was really fantastic. We was, enjoy spending this time with you guys. 
Spending we enjoy time with each other. Oh, it's so much fun. And we love reading your comments. Yeah. That is, I mean, <laughs> sometimes I literally laugh out loud. Yeah. So. Well, there was one. I went, oh, shoot. I meant to make note. There was one that, and I commented that I literally laughed out loud when I read. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, anyway, it is a they lot are they are a lot of fun. So, one thing I do want to say, Becky G, I do have another copy of this that I'm keeping for myself. So, if you want to do this with me as a stitch along, let Ooh. me know. Let me know cuz that might be kind of fun. It may be something you're not interested in too, but if you want to, you let me know. We'll do this together. That's very nice. Anything else? I think that's all I have. Let that's look. all I've got. Da -da 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 -da. That's all I got. All anyway, right. So you guys enjoy your week. Enjoy your next couple weeks. I know we will definitely enjoy our vacations and our families yep. and all. And that then we will stuff. see any of you guys that are coming to StitchCon B. B StitchCon B. So we will see you then. Yeah. And, and until till then, then, I'm Lisa and I'm Crystal. And we are stitching the dream. Hmm. Should put some vodka in that grapefruit.